Welcome, ladies and racism. Oh my god. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dr. Chronic Ghost here on this Destiny 2 video. And today, we're going to be telling you where the Xur is, his random roles, his location, and everything for May 28th, 2021. You can find the Xur in his regular spot in the Winding Cove. So just head over here and on top of this little cliffside, right on the precipice. Hey, 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 hey. Watch off. You can find him right here. Right next to uh, the much more uh, friendly random toucan, not that other dude. This is a, oh, yeah, I did get the Xenology completed, so I got my exotic cipher. This is a high overview of everything that he has in case this is all you wanted. And generally, um, it's pretty bad this week. First off, for the weapon today, we have the Sweet Business. It's basically a minigun that starts at 360 rounds per minute and goes up to like 900, 1200 rounds per minute with a very large magazine and a lot of perks that help with that as well. First of all, larger magazine, increased accuracy when firing from the hip, picking up ammo, this weapon immediately reloads it. So you walk over some white ammo, it reloads it directly into the magazine and sustain fire boost range and rate of fire. Basically, there are like five perks in these, these two perks. And generally, I'm still not a really big fan. I'll top of that there's also a catalyst i forget exactly what it does either way i'm not a big fan of this weapon in pve its dps is actually lower than that of a hand cannon oh yeah get that nice wood finish it's actually lower than that of a hand cannon uh, or at least it was when i first tested it and in pvp it can shred people but there are often better options it's one of those weapons that probably should have been a heavy weapon or maybe even a special weapon but now we have air apparent so kind of do up next for the hunter exotic we have the lucky raspberry probably the best item on sale today very close to being in my top 10 it used to be in my top 10 just a lot of new hunter exotics that are doing really well kicking it out first of all increases the chaining capabilities of arc bolt grenade and has a chance to recharge each time it deals damage and a full chain always recharges it so basically every enemy you hit with the chain of the lightning you get 25 percent a full chain is four enemies, which is 100%. And that's all it does. Overall, Arc Bolt is a really good grenade. The big issue is that Arc in general is not as strong in either PvE or PvP. So if we ever get to a point that Arc is strong again, this will probably see a lot more usage. And even with the artifact having Arc in it, it often doesn't get, persuade us enough to actually use art. As far as the roll goes, it does have a pretty decent roll of 63 and a discipline high of 22, but overall, I usually like to see high mobility and high recovery on a hunter, and oftentimes you'll want to not have discipline because you want to have that instant charge. So maybe like a middling roll, you could compensate for it for a pretty good exotic, which I, do, I don't think it actually has an ornament. Base game exotic right here. Up next after that, we have the ACD Feedback Fence. One of my favorite looking exotics from Destiny 1. It's actually on my channel banner on YouTube. The tiger literally has this exotic on. And honestly, it's really not that great. If you've never heard of it, melee hits build up energy. And being struck by a melee attack reduces incoming damage and unleashes the energy in a devastating explosion. So here's the problem with it. By the time you're getting meleeed, you get a reduction to all incoming damage, which is incredible. But by the time you're getting meleeed, you're usually about to die or that melee kills you. So the best that you get out of this is mostly a martyrdom explosion that kills you and the enemy that hits you. Although, holy crap, a total stat of 68 from Xur with a high stat of recovery. God damn. Okay, hold on a second. Let's take a second here. 68 is one of the highest I've ever seen. 69 is literally the highest I've ever received. It's not a great exotic, but if you just want a stat whore, this is a really good option. And finally, for the Warlock Exotic today, wow, wow, that's, that's divergence right there. <laughs> it's number, it's really small. For the Warlock Exotic, we have the Apotheosis Veil. And honestly, this exotic is just not something I'd ever really want to use. If you never heard of it, you immediately regenerate health, melee, grenade, and rift energy upon activating your super. So by the time you get out, you have all your stuff, and nearby allies also recharge their class ability faster. I'm pretty sure this is only once you activate your super. Although maybe it is just activating faster just all the time. I, I can't remember. Either way, none of this really feels mission critical. First of all, you don't use your super that frequently, especially on the Warlock. You probably want to be using well with Phoenix Protocol. Having your grenade and your melee and all that stuff doesn't really make that much of a difference outside of glitches where you can pop your super, grab one of the balls, have your grenade, but the super doesn't get used. As far as your roll goes, low stat of 59 is really not that worthwhile, and of course, recovery is low, so pretty terrible roll for a very below par exotic. However, the last thing I will say is that technically this exotic has a special feature to it that it has a minimum uh, intellect level of around like 10 to 12, and 
that's what it has. Outside of that, make sure you're picking up Exotic Cypher Quest. You saw I got an Exotic Cypher when I first started this. It's because I finished it from last time, and it's it's free. It, you get a free Exotic Cypher, you can spend it on Exotic Engrams, or from the Exotic Archive. And of course, I also recommend the Exotic Engram. If you're new and you don't have a lot of Exotics, yes! Then you'll get... <laughs> <laughs> you'll get exotics that you've never received before. If you've been playing this game for a long time, it's going to be with a very high stat roll. And, uh, well, I'm, my current one is, is better. But, uh, you know, you always try to get the better version. And uh, you got to keep trying. This is honestly how you get the highest possible stat rolls. You have to get the Xur exotic engrams because you want exotics with the high stat roll. For example, this new Ursa Furiosa with a 69 total and a high recovering intellect I got randomly. <laughs> oh, right. And I have an exotic cipher. And I have literally everything from the exotic archive. So why not? A Mask of the Quiet one, eh. Pretty good roll, though, actually. Anyways, that is going to be pretty much the end of the video. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions or concerns. Also, come check out my live streams that I have right after these videos. We're often doing open lobby raids, especially with Vault of Glass out. We're doing a lot of open lobbies, so if you've never done it before, come join us, and we'll try to get you in on PC Destiny 2. And of course, I want to give a big thank you to my patrons on Patreon. Truly, without their help, I wouldn't be able to do a lot of my videos, and especially not the spreadsheet. Specifically, I want to give a big thank you to Mary Boodoo, Mom, Dad, Charles Williams, Dr. Strange, Joe Smith, Monday, Night on Halpins, Steve Bachman, Justin Rare, Raymond Shulman, Your Panther, Cole Sherm, Casey Reagan, and Badgy for their support on Patreon. And that's it. Hope you guys did enjoy. My name is Vinod Chronic, and I'll see you guys on the next one.